All right, so hey, what's going on guys? And welcome to a new mini series called Back to Basics. And this is gonna be me over the next couple of weeks, kind of going back to the beginning of goalkeeping and really just drilling down the basics of a goalkeeper. And because when I first started, I didn't really have the proper training for that. I mean, I, had, I had, did have proper coaching, but it wasn't really like, I don't know, it, it wasn't really the basics. It was kind of just jumping straight into a few things. So this series is gonna be me documenting my basic development, starting off with basic diving, I'm going to work on my weak side a lot because obviously my weak side is something that needs to be worked on. So I look forward to doing that. Let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, let's take a closer look at the drill that I'm going to be doing for this video. And I'm only going to be doing one drill. I was going to do like a bit of distribution in this video as well. But I want to kind of label the video as well so you guys can go back and see how I'm progressing in each of the sections. So for this one, I'm just doing basic diving. So for me at the moment, it's stepping into the ball at a 45 degree angle with my right foot, whichever foot it is. Um, towards the ball and then collapsing down onto my hip and lats making sure I don't dive onto my arms dive onto the leg and make sure I just get a really good technique and practice like at the beginning it isn't that great but then throughout the video I get a better hang of it like I need to make sure I grab the ball and then push it away but properly like not push it away but kind of like stretch out properly um, but another thing I would ideally be doing this with somebody passing the ball into my hands like I'd be diving and they'd be passing it into my hands but because I was on my own, like, the best I could do was record it with me and a stationary ball. It's a good drill to do on your own though. Like, Don't get me wrong, this is a very good drill to do on your own if you want to practice your basic diving. I don't think anyone can practice basic diving enough. Even if you're an advanced goalie, I feel like it's good to really go back to the basics and just keep going over it and just kind of getting better. Because you, you can never be too good at a certain thing really. I, I don't think you can anyway personally. I don't know what you guys think. But even if you're an experienced goalie, going back to the basics of doing this, I think it helps a lot. And it's just a very good drill to do. And and here I just felt like it was a, the ball wasn't really at a proper position but I'm using the One Glove Company's Geo Fluxes as my new gloves at the moment. I'm trying to try on new gloves for next season so if you're a company that is looking to just try new gloves then please do get in contact but for me I'm trying these gloves out instead of Adidas to see what they're like. I really do like them so far like the colorway looks absolutely amazing. I've got a review video coming out in a couple of days time. I just need to record the playtest for it but at the moment it's just at the stage of really just nailing down basics before pre-season because pre-season starts at the end of June and I've got a bit of time now I've got like a couple of months to really just nail it or about a month and a half to nail it so I'm going to do that I'm going to be tracking the progress with the series called back to basics like I said and I'm going to really make sure that you guys just follow up my journey and each like video just suggest something else that I could do in the next video that you could say to me practice crosses practice um, I don't know high diving practice footwork practice agility anything like that any of the basics to goalkeeping just let me know and I will definitely do videos on it. Like, I'm not too sure what to do the next episode on. I was going to record a distribution video on the same day. I did do a little bit of it, but it, the footage didn't really come out that well because it got really it got really bad weather. So you can see the weather doesn't look amazing at the moment. Um, but I was, yeah, yeah, I was literally, like, recording on my own, training on my own. And I felt like it was going well. Obviously, like, I got better here at the dives. Um, I, wanna, I need to try and get as good as I can to my weak side as well. This is my right side. My right side is my good side. Um, but I really need to make sure I do work on that left side as well, which I do tend to do now. Um, but for here, it's not as good. Like you can see me going down, it's not as clean as it is my right side. And I'm just going to keep doing this drill over and over again, and just making sure that I do improve. But one thing that I don't like at the moment is because of the ground, it's it's really hard. Like diving badly on your bad side isn't good because obviously you're not diving as clean as you could. So you're diving pretty badly, and it just gets a little bit sore after a little while. But I need to step my foot out more, and then start collapsing that leg a little bit. I started doing a little bit better there. I need to make sure I keep doing it faster and improving as much as possible. Um, but I'm going to keep doing it and just see how it goes really. I need to make sure I get my leg in the right position as well. Maybe a bit lower, maybe I tuck it in a little bit more. Uh, bend it a little bit as well. See how it goes. But anyway guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, episode 1 of Back to Basics, on me just practicing the basic diving. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what I could do in the next episode. And I'll see you next time. Hollywood, fake loving and hating on silver screens, believing everything we come to see. Go outside, it feels so good. We're loving and hating and making scenes, now we just see everything.